Hello everyone and welcome back to another Academy Bites. Today we'll be looking at a fantastic mapping technique that can be used by all. It's called Honeycomb Patterns. These patterns are normally a stream of one half beats that are placed in a fashion that fit on a hexagonal grid. This way the order of the notes cannot be easily hit or determined by looking at the circles alone, making players have to look at the numbers or approach circles to figure out the order. Sometimes honeycomb beats are combined with lower overall difficulty to even confuse players. We'll go over some examples now and talk about where these patterns can be placed and used. Alright, that being said, I'm going to go right into the editor and show you some pre-made honeycomb beats I already have set up for you. So go ahead and check these out. All right, and as you can see, it's really quick, really simple on that. Uh, we'll go over actually creating our own honeycomb patterns in just a moment. But as you can see, distance snap is always locked on honeycomb because you want to keep that hexagonal shape. Um, now, that doesn't mean that honeycombs have to be limited to being a hexagon. There's all kinds of different ways you can do it. As you see here, I'm showing a few different pattern types um, as they don't have to consistently be the exact same. This isn't copy paste. It's just the patterning of the notes. Um, and as you can see, I do a few different variants of the honeycomb and then we go for an entire honeycomb pattern here at the end. Now we'll go ahead and explain how you can make these as they're really simple to make and lots of fun and they can be very challenging if you use a low AR. Now with higher AR, it is a little bit on the easier side. That being said, let's get into actually making some. All right, and as you can see, we went ahead and placed out our base patterns here, and now I will go ahead and show you some freeform honeycomb patterns. Um, I'm going to do some basic ones. I will reduce the distance snap on these to make it very clear that they are honeycomb patterns. Um, the tighter they are, the easier it is to tell if you're keeping everything symmetrical to each other. Um, as you can see here, I do have to make adjustments to the four and the five uh, to tighten those up just a little bit. We want to make sure everything kind of fits on that hexagonal axis. That being said, while we're waiting, I will go over where these things really fit in. One of the best places to use honeycomb patterns is a song that has a very strong one half beat or a section in the song that's very predominant in one half beats. Um, you don't want too much background instrumentals going on when you're doing something like this as this pattern is to kind of emphasize on the beat that is there. Um, the low AR and the density of the pattern is what creates the confusion towards it as you're kind of able to just take it and go whichever way you want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move over to this next section really quick making this slider um, just for you know music reasons. Um, it makes it just fit better. I didn't really need to do that, but I went ahead and did that. We'll get over our last honeycomb pattern here. Well, half combs is what I'll call the five ones though. But when you really get into a heavy, large honeycomb pattern, you usually need about eight to 10 notes for it to really get uh, the shape and desired effect you're looking for. And that will be shown with this next one here. As I new combo that, I'm going to make a very large one. And this one will not be honeycomb or hexagonal shape, but it will follow the same principles that the honeycomb patterns use, showing that you can do this not only in hexagons, but in pretty much any type of shape you want. As long as you know it's following the hexagonal format, as long as it could all be arranged. Um, think triangles, and in a sense, um, as long as every circle is perfectly the same distance away from it beforehand with distance snap, then you're going to be able to get that effect and as you can see, I'm going to make a larger honeycomb pattern here. I will have to make slight adjustments as even I make mistakes. Um, as you can see, I'm going to be tightening it up just a little bit more here. And then as we go through a hexagonal shape, then at the very end of it, we'll break it down into just a open ended area. And you could see that play out. Just got to make those slight adjustments and then we'll have this play out for you.
Right. Well, we hope you enjoyed taking a look into this rather sweet mapping technique. And for more mapping techniques, be sure to keep an eye on the OS Academy. More videos are on the way, and remember, rhythm's a click away, and we'll see you real soon.